Hello, uh, here's a demo of my uh, clone of Hunt the Wumpus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, it's a, a clone of a cartridge game uh, for the TI-99, one of my favorite games. I love this game and I love to clone it for various platforms. So um, so here it is uh, running in Mezen, or the Mezen emulator. Uh, it's all a handwritten assembly. There's no, I didn't use NES Maker for this. I just did it, did it old school. Um, so let's just, I'll just play it here and you guys can hear the... Uh, Nice little additions to it. So there's the intro music, Hall of the Mountain King by Grieg, but because you know the NES has got multiple channels, I put a, a left hand. Uh, there's like you know basically there's two uh, a, a, a treble clef and a bass clef there, a left hand and a right hand. And then we can uh, go over to the uh, start screen here, and you can pick your skill level. Uh, depending on how twisty you like your passages. There we go, there's a hunting we will go. So now I can move around just. Uh, and so the red circles are rooms that are within two, two caves or two connections of the Wumpus. Uh, the blue rings mean that you're adjacent to a pit. So let's, um, so I'm trying to find Oh, there's the bat, right? So if I walk into, once the bat wakes up, if I walk into that room again, the bat will fly me to a, a random room. A random room. So let's walk in and watch the bat fly us somewhere else. Oh, and the bat dropped me in a pit. All right, so we got to see the bat and we got to see the pit. All right, so uh, let's, let's look at the map. So there's our map. Every um, you know cave, every room chamber within two connections of the Wumpus is marked with red. Any uh, cavern within one connection of a pit is marked with uh, blue, and we can see the bat there. Um, and let's uh, let me just show you what happens if you if you miss the wampus. Let's let's play again. All right, so I can toggle we can toggle the bow or toggle shooting and moving. So there it is. There's the requiem, but I added like a little left left hand pattern or a bit, uh, bass clef to the music just to make it sound a little a little bit richer. And then we can go back to show the map. So I'm going to try this again. Let me go back. I'm going to set the skill level um, to easy here, just so I can find the wumpus quickly and, and slay this wumpus. And. Uh, up there we go. So I'm getting closer to the Wumpus. So that room is safe. I, I think I have a pretty good idea where this Wumpus is. There we go. I think the Wumpus is probably right, right to my right here because uh, that would, that would make, um, I would be consistent with the the red that I see there. So if the room up from the player has the Wumpus, then any room radiating two out from that will have blood and that will um that's consistent with what i see here so let me toggle firing and shoot up there we go again same music as the original cartridge but i just added an extra um i added a harmony to it just so it sounds a little bit nicer but um and uh oh, oh wait i forgot to, yeah it keeps uh Let's let's uh, let me miss let miss that again. So I forgot to mention. Yeah, it's got. So there's a scoreboard. I forgot to mention the scoreboard. It keeps tracks of wins, losses, how many times you've fallen into a pit, um, and it kind of makes the game a little bit more fun. Great feature, you know, brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly designed game. Um, it's just fun, fun to try to clone. Um, so, so there it is. There's, uh, there's Hunt the Wumpus for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The game works on uh, original hardware. I have made some uh, physical cartridges using um, uh, PCBs, brand new, new stock PCBs and uh, EEPROMs, and I've made a little development system or a little development board, and uh, it works fine in the original, um, original hardware. So there it is. Hopefully I will, I don't know post this, make, make it available in physical form. I'm not really sure. Um, but there it is. It all, it all works and, um, it's a lot of fun and hopefully you'll get to enjoy playing it.